lovely people. My name is Mrs. Hatsulo Popo Mensa, the creative director of Hat Hat World. At Hat Hat World, we do fascinators, hatinators, gelinators, kentinators, hats, tiaras, and many more. You can contact us on 0246 182879. Today we are looking at how to do a fascinator. So many materials that are used to make a fascinator. But today we are looking at how to make a phenoline fascinator. We have different types of phenoline. We have the plain phenoline, the one with shining designs in them. We have the check check. We have the pleated phenoline. And small phenolines. Having known the type of phenolines that we have, let's get started. Welcome. This is Hat Hat World. And we are looking at how to do this simple phenoline fascinator. So you need your phenoline, your scissors, your measuring tape, your glue gun, your alligator clip, coat stiff, your pins, your fishing line, and your flowers for embellishment. Let's get started. The first thing to do is to secure the ends of your phenolene. So you can choose to measure before you secure it or you secure it before you measure. So you take your fishing line, then you tie the end of your crinoline. This is to stop it from fraying. I realize that sometimes when you are about finishing the work, your thread can come off. So I have developed another way of securing the end. So after time, I apply a little glue. So after securing your end, just as I said, you can measure before you secure your end or you secure before you measure. I normally want to secure before I measure because sometimes when you don't secure before you measure, it takes some of your crinoline away. So today we are using 50 inches. So this is 50 inches. I cut it more than the 50 so that I'll get the exact 50 inches I want. After cutting, You secure the other end as well. Remember I said you take your fishing line. Then just as we pleat our children's hair, you take it round, round, round. And you think it's okay for you. You cut your thread. Then you tie. So you apply the glue just as we did with the first one. Cut. With this towel, you don't need to remove the thread at the end of the phenoline. You do another one. That's when we have to remove the thread. So this one you can sew with the thread in place. So you cut your fishing line. So you want to start sewing. You put your needle. So with this design, you join the two ends of the crinoline together like this. Then you sew from one end to the other end. 
and we start sewing. We saw like how the seamstress sewed their gathers. So you sew one in, one out. And you get used to it you will sew as fast as you can don't worry when your thread try to entangle each other so we are left it small in and out in and out when you tie your crinoline and you think the excess is too much you can cut it for the ends to be quite short so we have come to the end of our sewing so to make this style or this design you pull your thread after sewing the two ends together so this is how goes you pull it slowly if you are a beginner so depending on the design that you want to create you pull it according to the way you want the design so you can leave it this way you can also choose to turn it as if you are coiling it or in a spiral way to be like this if you want the exact design then you need to turn the top a bit so after pulling you hold the two ends together like this then you sew if you don't sew when you leave it it will go back to the first stage so let's pull it again okay then we sew so you pass your needle through it should be more than once so that it can secure it firmly you can turn while sewing so you can turn for it to even become a rose you can also make it big like this so you sew as many times you are comfortable with not this when you are Coming to tie your knot to start sewing, you leave some excess thread so that after everything, you will use it to tie your final knot. So, that is a fascinator. It's coming out beautifully, you know. So the next thing is to add your alligator clip. Alligator clip because I think the shape of the mouth looks like alligator. Some prefer to put it on it, open it, and sew. But that takes more time so i prefer to cut my thread remember to secure it i like securing because sometimes you can be doing your finishing then you realize that your whole thing your needle your thread everything has removed so when you apply the glue then it secures it more so you cut when you are cutting to don't cut it close to your knot so when you are cutting and you cut it close to your knot, your thread would come off your work and you go back to 
square one. Then let's go to how to fix our alligator clip. I also prefer to design the edges or the ends of my felt or coat stiff to give it some flex. So this is how it looks like after shaping. So I put the longer edges together. If it's a square, then it means both sizes are equal, but if it is rectangular like this, then it means you have longer edge, then shorter edges as well. So you put the two longer edges together. Then you cut. This one, I don't measure. So you just cut. You gauge. Then you cut. To give us something like this so you see you get two holes in it then you fix in your alligator clip this is my style then you apply your glue so you can't apply it to all the ends before you put it on your Fascinator, so I leave some part so that I can hold it. Remember, it's very hot. If it gets into contact with your hands, it can burn your hand. So you fix your alligator clip that is attached to the stiff. So after this, you go back to check the places that don't have glue. Then you do your final gluing. So this is how it looks like. Wow. Now we want to embellish our fascinator. Or we want to decorate our fascinator. So I would like to embellish or decorate my fascinator with this flower. You can just pull or put the ends together like this. Apply glue. Then put it on top. Then you are good to go. You apply your glue. At the back of the flower then you put it on top of where you want to do your embellishment it is dried now you can leave it this way or continue to embellish with the other parts that you took from the bigger stem there we go So this is your fascinator. So after everything, you take this tiny, tiny strips from the glue from it. You can blow dry with a hair dryer if you have one to it and your fascinator is good to go. Ta-da! Ta-da! Let's try it on. So this is a lovely fascinator. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video. Bye. Love you all.